Hello, all. It's your girl Tiffany Madam Let's just like video your poetic psychic Pisces High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. Also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't with any coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to so please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a um Actually, it's not going to be a reading. It's just going to be some commentary about something that's going on in these YouTube streets here recently. Um, yeah, with Jaguar Wright and TJ, of course, who are still together. Um, so I'm actually just testing something out here, seeing how this works. Um, Let's get into this video. Apologies. But don't forget to hit that like button and on the way in. I got a guest. You want to say hi? Hi, y'all. Of course, Jaguar Wright is still with TJ after TJ did all of that stunt and yeah. fronting and hustling for money yesterday, claiming she was leaving with some random sh yeah. driver There's stranger. There's all kind of interesting things going on. Um, but or you she claims she got another ride back What's with up, another yeah? truck driver. Say you, and she's currently with Jaguar again. These YouTube niggas is tripping. She never does. They tripping so much. So let's get that people can and really make get to real decisions on what they want to do. People keep saying, uh, do this. So they're finally going to like came up in a minute. You're going to see Jaguar because we are in spiritual okay. warfare right now. There is a war going on, so there is a fight money. going on for good and evil. And um, God left. said it's going to be the women Get that understood Who are really, really, really going to pick up the mat And carry it for him um, You know, when you think about the times of Jesus The people that were at the tomb Waiting for him to be resurrected Were the women The men had ran off to the simpering next to you. Yeah. So I'm going to skip those parts Do you see TJ here? Looking silly, dumb as but, hell, because they know they at the end everybody. Of the day. And she never lost. Yeah, that's tight. Of course, you know they claim that. Well, she claimed that she hitchhiked this ride with this truck driver when she was at the truck stop yesterday. Um, claimed that she got all the way to Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay, which she had plans to go to Tennessee. It was only another two hours away, but somehow she got out in Arkansas and ended up hitching a ride back to Texas from another truck driver. She never left. It's a whole lie. It was a scam from the job from them to hustle money out of people like they always do. Okay. So, of course, you see them here together. Of course, Jack is going to talk a lot of shit and hustle and bully people out of more cash apps and money, as always. So, yeah, that's what's going on, guys, okay? Okay. It's been a long journey for her. I'm tired. I'm real tired. Who's off the chain? <laughs> she came back. What a one in the chat and don't get up. Hello. Yeah. You're live. You see, it's that conference call, y'all. She actually has another person on the freeway. What's up, Pam? Uh, 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 what's up, Pete? What's up, Jack? Why are you calling me? What's the deal, Pickle? Why, why, why are you calling me? You want to know if I said I wanted you to go to jail? Yeah. I told Taisha, revoke your bond and I will help her. I did. Now what? I've answered your question. Now what, bitch? Now what? 
Didn't I tell you about trying to be a phone gangster with me? Didn't I tell you about that phone gangster shit? Because you ain't no real gangster, bitch. So she's like, as you can hear, currently arguing with this person um, that goes by the name of Pam um, or what have you that supposedly hit up TJ and she told TJ she would help her um, in whatever way if she would uh, revoke Jack or respond which she obviously did not and just like the op she is she gave the information to jaguar and so jaguar is calling this lady now and they have this bit of this back and forth type of argument or whatever yeah they're, they're they've been hustling and playing people all along tj never left okay all of it was a gimmick an act of a skit a ploy to get people to feel sorry for tj like you know what i'm saying and um send them all this money um, because obviously they've run out of money and they need more money to support their lifestyle, their habits, their addictions or whatever. But that's what's going on here. So this is the reason why TJ doesn't barely want to show her face. Um, because she knows she looks like a damn fool. She knows she looks like a damn fool. After yesterday calling Sean Z. Wade for some help, calling official King Payne, um, begging for food and donations and all this other kind of crap, claim that you left, left only to come back and you ride alongside Jaguar. Meanwhile, this is the same person who has talked about you like a dog. She's got you ugly. She's got you stupid. She's got you dumb. She said you're not smart. She's not even attracted to you. She's literally using you for what she can get out of you. And it's a whole setup. I don't understand why TJ don't understand that. It, it, it amazes me. She has such a disrespect for Naisha, which I really kind of feel like at this point, everybody is involved in the shenanigans that's going on. Um, but it seems to amaze me that TJ displays such hatred and disrespect uh, for Naisha, but she act like she had over heels in love with Jaguar, a woman who won't even claim you, who claim y'all are not together or whatever. She don't want to be with you, um, yet you still, you know, clinging and, and, and tagging along with her. And so you get upset and claim you're leaving again. Uh, what I mean, it's it's stupid. It's dumb. Okay. Um, the same back and forth mess, the same little boy that cry wolf mess, okay, to hustle people out of what they can get out of people. It's the same old thing, okay? And she literally has this video entitled Saving TJ. She ain't saved no damn body, okay? Like, it's, it's ridiculous at this point, okay, guys? But that's what's going on here. Um, I'm not going to play the entirety of this video because it's just a bunch of BS. Um, she talked a little bit, TJ to a few words. TJ doesn't want to be really seen. Okay. And TJ's like, oh, I'm hashtag van life, you know, I'm on my, you know, whatever. This is all cute and all this other kind of crap. But it's because she knows she looks like a damn fool now. Okay. For the games that they've been playing with people. So this is what's going on, y'all. Y'all use your own discernment, make your own decisions. But like, yeah, they've been playing in people's faces for the longest. Are you done? Are you done? What are what, what? What are you calling me for? Okay, bitch, I don't give a fuck. You called me to ask me that I want you to go back to jail. And now I was with some people, but yeah, bitch, I do want you to go back to jail. Now what? Now what? By the way, did you ever get any of that money for uh that PPP loan that you were filing for uh Dallas? Bitch, I never got a PPP loan. But you said that you no, 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 none of my business. So don't even try it with me. Bitch, everything legit about me. Ain't nothing legit about you. Not even your motherfucking name, bitch. Not your words. You a has been a word, bitch, and all of that, bitch. I told you not to fuck with me, right? Didn't I tell you, bitch? You don't know. You don't want to walk up this motherfucking tree with me. I don't want you. I don't want you. So since you want to fuck with me, let me know. Let me know, let you know what I did. I've already been in contact with cyber police, bitch. Okay? I've already been in contact with Arizona, bitch. And I've also been in contact 
was motherfucking finance criminal, bitch. You were stealing your mother's fucking money. So you, you want to know if I want you to go to jail? Yes. Yes. You deserve to be in jail. Of everything you've done to your mother, your son, and every motherfucking body else, you deserve to go to jail. Because that's where the fuck you belong in this institution, bitch. Now what? Now what? Bitch, I ain't busted for what? Bitch, I was your friend until you called me stupid. You called me a stupid bitch for helping you. You thought I was the op. So at that point, bitch, whatever I was about to do with you was ended. At that moment, you crossed the line with me, bitch. I didn't cross the line with you. I I was trying to help you and Ty. I told you I wanted both of you bitches to win, right? You dirty, dusty bitch. And then you want to go behind my back and think I'm the op and try to call me a stupid bitch. But yo, you're the stupid bitch. That's why life is happening for you right now, stupid bitch. Because you don't have no loyalty to nobody but self. You need to go get some motherfucking medication, you dumb bitch. That's why your life is in shambles now, bitch. It's Washington, D.C. Bitch, don't worry about what I did. I've been clean 31 years in November, bitch. And none of you just said to me, oh, my, my motherfucking addiction, bitch. I've been clean for years, bitch. And if I was still that bitch, I would whip your motherfucking ass, bitch. You, I told you you don't want to fuck with me. Now I'm going to catch a plane to Texas. You want to fuck with me? I don't get no, I don't have no qualms about going to jail, bitch. I'm doing this hard charge for you, bitch. You understand me? You understand me? I told you. I'm no phone gangster, bitch. I'm a real gangster. And you don't want to fuck with me. Or you, I warned you. And then you want to play these games? You playing with the wrong bitch. She's not even woman enough to take this phone call by herself. Ain't nothing about you, my nigga. Ain't nothing about you. don't want to say anything because she knows she look like a damn fool right now okay she she played all these games she begged people for money y'all understand this every time she didn't call shun's baby way a official king paying a whoever for money jagna put her up to doing it okay if you think about it most of the time tj every once in a while she'll say something would she say something about her cash shop or something like that jag is getting her to do that majority of the time when she's just doing things on her own or whatever she don't she don't ask anybody for anything and she usually don't post her cash app so when she do jag is controlling everything and telling her to do so when she's calling certain people like sean david way and different things it's because jack has told her to you understand what i'm saying she don't want to talk right now she don't want to be seen on camera right now because she know she done made jack just been, they done made a fool of her yet again she looks like a fool okay they know everybody calls it out. Everybody said this was just another ploy for them to hustle people out of money. She wasn't really leaving or going anywhere and all this other kind of stuff. So now all of a sudden they still together and it's the same old crap. Jack trying to get her to talk about this, that, and the third. And TJ don't really want to talk. She's gonna say a little bit of this or that, but they already know that the gig is up. Everybody know what they got going on. And Jack Rye getting ready to go into a whole spill about fan funding and basically, you know what she always do. When the bully people into supporting her, her lifestyle, her habits, addictions, and every damn thing else. I want it's completely pathetic, okay? And what they're doing is not even real content at the end of the damn day. But this is what's going on. She didn't just gonna set up and tell a whole lie 
oh, I left. Me and ZJ, I mean, me and Jaguar are not together. I'm leaving. One day you're going to stay in Texas. You're going to get a job. You're going to save up your money so you can get a van the very next day. Oh, you're going to hop in a truck with a complete stranger. You're trying to get to Tennessee and all this other kind of crap. You're calling Sean Zavy Way and any and everybody else that y'all have, you've been previously beefing with, okay? But you have the audacity to be calling them, asking them for anything just for you to turn around and 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 be back with Jack, right with Jack. She was with Jack the whole time while they were playing, pretending like she wasn't nowhere around. While well, this woman has literally, you know, teamed up with all her little fake friends. You know, anytime Jack, I feel like she got a group of little friends who are all fake. Um, you know, she really thinks she only popping and she's doing something. She thinks she's way more special than what she actually the hell is. And there's nothing wrong with loving yourself. There's nothing wrong with having high self-esteem. Okay. But the whole egotistical bullshit that the huge ego and shit is garbage. Okay. Get that understood. And that's the way Jaguar parades around. Like somebody like the world owes her something. You understand what I'm saying? Or what have you and um she always talking about talent this the talent that you're not even putting forth your talent and majority of the time even when you play some type of m music whether it's it's either somebody else's music and if it's music of your own you're playing something that's pre-recorded you're not singing yourself and then when you do sing yourself it doesn't sound good at all and then you want people to shuffle you all this money and this is like every single day you understand what i'm saying even if you were to support them and donate something to them today tomorrow they'll be on the same thing hustling people for my money every single damn day okay it's ridiculous okay but that's what's going on here guys i just wanted to actually come on here and test this um new site out here i'm using um i got a few different ways of doing this for some new projects that i'm putting together i'm going to be working on so i i was going to go through this with you um this commentary but um i wanted to test out this new platform as well i would have you um but yeah y'all that's what's going on here okay so i'll teach you getting ready to say a few things I'm about that fam like, yeah, <laughs> this is your second. I'm about owl, honey. You can have it. Oh, yeah. I'm moving over. I will get it. Yes, Ray Watts is a lot. I'm trying to tell you all. That woman is too funny. She's a She was like, yeah, because, you know, back in the day, I be smoking them rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Jag is so fake, phony, and fraudulent. It's just, it's, it's unreal how phony she is, and all of the little, yes, no the different. I, I think that would be great for TJ. I think self-discovery um, requires a bit of adventure, um, a trip, and you've never really had a moment to just do you mm -hmm. without having to worry about anybody else. Mm -hmm. You know what, sweetheart. That phone call with Pam got me a little just like um, goofy. So why don't you tell everybody about your landmark journey that you're trying to start and about van life? Come on. Do y'all see how Let she people know what it is her. that we're asking them to support? Do you all see how she's handling her, how she keeps placing her hands? on her shoulder on her back saying certain words tj is under mind control there is spell work that's being done on her okay this girl has been like brainwashed she's under mind control jaguar is controlling her okay i don't understand like nobody there's nobody else i know that would literally stay with somebody who has literally publicly humiliated you publicly embarrassed you talked about you like the dog i've literally heard this woman basically say that i mean everybody knows that jaguar is not attracted to tj at all okay you called her ugly you've called her you just said online with all your little buddies while she was supposedly traveling and like uh through a whole bitch fit um 
talking about how you didn't want her name or her picture or her image coming up with your images or your name and different things when you're searched and different things like that. You called her stupid. You called her dumb. You, you, you say she's not smart. You act like you're smarter than everybody else. And I mean, some real low blow shit. Not to mention this girl has literally had to go through you talking about her supposed kids, which at this point, it, it, she don't even act like she cares about her kids, okay? She keeps on disrespecting the very woman who is still there in taking care of her kids when she decided to jump up and leave and go, you know, live this whatever type of life, okay? With Jaguar, now she's on this hashtag VM life, hashtag nomadic life, and all this other kind of stuff. All of that is fine and well, but you know, like... They, they they take no accountability, no responsibility for anything. And they sit up and play in people's face like people are just blurred, duh, dumb or some shit or whatever. And it's ridiculous. And they want people to pay for it. It's crazy. Um. So I decided that I want to do van life, live nomadic on my nomadic journey. Um, I'm excited about starting that. I I want to get an RV, or I want to get like um, a bus, a bus, or to get it out. Just something like that where I can just live and travel and see America. That's what I want to do. Yes, van life. This is crazy. Yes, I do want van life. She's still in the. Clothes. I came back She's today. I'm tired. I I'm really tired. How do you support a sphere? I don't know. I haven't gotten on my page since I've been back. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to go out and find like other people and see how they started and how they got their journey started. And I figured that we could use, the, I could use my platform, use our channel uh, to help me get over there and, and learn to do it. I wanted to go to South Dakota, but I think I missed that this summer. So I'll try other things. I wish y'all stopped saying. I keep telling y'all I'm not. I don't do drugs, but yes, they do. Saying I'm high. I'm tired. Yes, do. I didn't travel. I've been on the road. I'm hungry. Don't I'm do sleepy. Do drugs. I'm all those things. Hey, Manny. She she never sent me the information for the farm, and then she got on the Notch channel and said I couldn't come. So I don't know. Your platform didn't get you a ticket of food. No. Well, <clears throat> in our Discord, someone sent me some money to get some food last night. So I was able to do that. But no. How did I get back from another trucker that brought me back? I was in Little Rock. She's lying. No, she wasn't. What made you come back? This is home. This is not this your is home. This is the only that home I have now. Home. And um, nobody was helping me. So <clears throat> me and Jack talked and we could be friends. And why not help each other? She she's starting over. I'm starting over. We can be roommates and just start life over and just be friends, which you know was taken away from us from the beginning. So this is home. That's home is bad. the jag right now. She's being controlled. And you notice she's doing this funding van life because it's expensive. Well. She's doing this, that dry sniffing now, as you can hear, it sounds different than when they normally are sniffing after they have gotten high, okay? She's doing that on purpose because so many people have probably pointed out all the sniffing and things. It, you, you notice it sounds totally different. She, the, when she sniffs now, she's purposely doing it to make it seem like, oh, see, this is what I've been doing all along when y'all hear me when we're not camped up or anything, but it sounds totally different, okay? When they're getting high, it sounds totally different, okay? And it's a different type of sniff, okay, because um, of the nostril drainage and everything. They get high, okay. Of course, you know, nobody wants to admit to the fact that they're getting high. But the fact of the matter is that they are, okay, uh, period, point blank, or what have you. But the fact that what, what, what's really the problem is that they, they a whole nother lie for a whole like two days that they push out on everybody. Jag, you know, she's bashing this girl left and right on uh, with all her little fake friends and going live and talking about all this, that, and the third. 
TJ's out here on her own by herself, supposedly traveling, got nowhere to go or whatever. Now, you not only did you call Sean and was talking about could he help you, but she was saying that Jack was trying to put the swatting incident um, on her and like all this other kind of stuff. You supposedly sitting up listening to videos, which that was clearly Jaguar. She is the only one who records herself watching other content, other content creators on certain devices and use those hashtags. Okay. Jaguar is the only one to do that. She was with her then. And if you look at the beginning of this video, when it started, before they got on camera and showed themselves it looked just like it did when tj had did a video earlier on her page when she had it blanked out and it sounded like she was in some type of bathroom or something somewhere they were still uh, gonna try to play pretend like oh tj was still gone or you know was traveling at this that, and the other and then they finally decide oh well we're gonna act like you came back and you came back to me and all this other kind of crap like come on now, mind you, now they're supposed to be friends. Now they're not even claiming they're in a relationship or they're together or anything anymore. Now they're just supposed to be friends. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit, okay? They hustle in people. Uh, I'm looking for a job. I just didn't want to do the Uber. Uh, I'm gonna have to fund it myself, and and uh, the page is already monetized, so I, I'm sure I'll find people who are willing to follow, follow my story, uh, who would be interested in my new beginning and my transformation, and just to hear from TJ, away from the beef sector, away from all the drama, away from all of that. I get to control my narrative now, and I'm pretty excited about it. I better turn that house into a home, yeah. Yeah. When do you start Landmark? Um, John Savage, uh, they has a, a tuition for me, uh, which I think the class is like, he said $800, but I only have to pay $200 and then I'll be able to start. So now I'm trying to raise funds for me to start at Landmark, which is $200. Me and Jack, we're not going to argue. I'm done arguing. Um, I think I learned my lessons uh with this whole red app thing it was pride versus ego and it was hard it was hard so new beginnings new beginnings she's so full of it the people wouldn't even buy you a ticket and a meal that's not funding no van like i said people support what they want to what they want to support a lot of people that that were over there in that sector just wanted to see the beef just wanted to see arguing and negative. Now, remind you all, like, first of all, she's still in the clothes that she was in yesterday um, that she had on when she went live, okay? Now, she has a brand new pair of shades um, on that's yellow, and she has some earphones, brand new earphones that she got that's yellow as well. Now, she had told everybody she didn't have a dime to her name, not even to get her anything to eat, okay? Where did you miraculously get the money? She, you're going to hear her say in this video that she needed some more headphones, um, especially while she was traveling and she got those yesterday okay also you see jaguar she's in a brand new cheap pair of earrings as well as a new little top type of shirt type of thing or whatever which means that people sent them money okay they don't want to got them some little cheap attire that they wanted to get or what have you and, and they're showing them themselves today okay you're getting ready to hear jaguar like literally go into this bullying rant about fan funding and how um she should have a dollar of view it's 800 plus 900 plus people and uh you know watching the video when they aired this live or whatever and saying that if she had a dollar from every one of them she would have 800 something 900 dollars like come on everybody knows that they're scamming everybody knows that they're getting over it just period point blank but I did get a lot of support um, when I did my live. A lot of people came in. Um, once I took, bless you, baby. Once I told my truth about my addiction, a lot of people came through and showed me a lot of support. So, you know, I'm no longer taking in the negativity and I'm really, really going to learn not to stop these comments so much. Oh, 
studio. It says don't kick in. I didn't kick in the door like that, y'all. <laughs> like I was just being dramatic. Y'all don't know me. Jag know me. I'm dramatic. And the door was already damaged. So you know, I'm like, you want me to act like a clown? I'll be I'll be that clown. <laughs> and I kicked the door. And when I learned my lesson. Yeah, she, I learned some lessons. This is how you know she's real. under mind control. Jack Bar basically I feel like forces I got her my ass whipped by my mama. to say things. Hey, sweet. Sweet. Don't get me wrong. The people have a right to express their feelings, but you don't have to be nasty about it. Octavia, are you talking to me? Because I wasn't being nasty to anybody. I, you know. But also, you got to remember, too, I'm, I'm human. I'm, I'm going through real life stuff, and you see on camera, I'm, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know my up and down. I'm emotional. Uh, all I've asked for people is to show me a little grace. I, I don't think people will be able to to live their life out loud on camera and their flaw up and their indifference and having thousands of people chasing them and harassing them and be kind all the time no i don't have a cold i have allergies because it's fall and i need she to get got no allergies. she don't have no damn allergies. oh, oh. I have no problem all right well you know allergies. i told Octavia. you know me and you scorpios we think this? alike all but right i do think jag eats what tj no karate how about this how about this release the kraken tj <laughs> tj no karate <laughs> 86 thousand seconds <laughs> yeah i seen cheryl in the chat she said walk from home thank you i appreciate that i seen it like all the way up i don't way. know that karate was, but, I, but know I know crazy yes we do <laughs> uh, uh, uh. hey Jaguar is always talking in subliminals. You see how she paused after she said 86 and she was leaning over towards TJ, kind of pushing her out the way. First of all, 86 is a term for murder, okay? She says 86 and then thousands. And like she's speaking in subliminal. She's speaking in code, okay? If TJ is not awakened, she, she wouldn't be able to recognize because... When whether you're speaking in which language or you're speaking in subliminal messages, it sounds like regular English words, okay? And it sounds like you know the the person may be it may sound like the person is talking about one thing, but coded it means something totally different, okay? Eighty six is a term for murder, okay? Um, and she said that while she was leaning over, like she she's acting like she's leaning into the camera so you can see her, but she's pushing over TJ at the same time with her head tilted, pointed towards her, basically saying that she's gonna 86 her for thousands of dollars, okay? And some like, come on, it's it's subliminal. It's subliminal. And I'm like, this is this is sad. And it's sad that TJ is like under mind control and too blind um, to really see what's going on and it's being used like this, okay? Do TJ have her faults? Definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. And I feel like a lot of people are in on um, the shenanigans right along with them, okay? It's a lot of people on the backdrop and the back end, you know, that that's getting... Um, uh, being compensated for going along with the, you know, the Jaguar saga and different things like that or what have you. But yeah, y'all pay attention, okay? Um, when shit come, really comes ahead um, with these two, it's going to be tragic. It's going to be tragic. I could, I could listen to some James Brown tonight. Yeah, no, it's not a cold. Honestly, Manny, it's just allergies. Um, I haven't been able to get my black seed oil, the things that I normally use to keep my system regulated um, because I'm supporting two people. No, she's not. I'm supporting two people and being fought on every dollar possible. Now, I went and looked at the views just over the course of the past 24 hours. If I literally got a dollar of you, I'd have over 10K. Like I said, the second that we get the $2,000 that we're looking for to raise the money for the video and to finish mixing and mastering properly, gold shoe, gold hair, it comes out. And we're going to debut it and premiere it right here 
on YouTube. Every day they Of course, it will be a members only. And it will be done on the Jaguar Wright Johnson channel. But tonight, since Tej is home, we're going to be doing WCW Live from the TNJ channel. That's a joke. Where we started it. Yeah. I know. I realized that, Manny, that I do. And, like, at, at those times, Elderberry like, juice is great. Made me happy. I'm you can get a P.O. box. The TNJ so, channel is supposed to be TJ. I'm glad I'm back home, too. Well, you know, listen to me. Black seed oil being sent to me is amazing. But you know what's more amazing? People actually paying for the content and the entertainment that I create for you. See, that's not a scam. Yeah. All, all of these wonderful productions that we're having, all of these levitated and amazing lives, all of this great content that's happening, that, that takes time, that takes effort. I am a YTCC as well now. So is Ty. <laughs> so how is that a scam? Anyway. I need a anyway. How is that a scam? They scamming. Yeah, we were sitting in the, you know what I mean? When she got here, she was just like drained. I put her in the hot tub and I started scanning. <laughs> I started looking for clothes. <laughs> She's so fake. She is so fake. That's great. But once again, I'd be able to go and buy it for myself if people just gave me a dollar review. If you just got 10,000 views in a day and I can't even get, I, I can't even get 10% of that. Or produce some real content. If I only got 10% of the 10,000 views that I just got, that would be $1,000. I could go buy my own. Like, if you want to support, then support. But what we are going to get away from tonight is all of this salacious, crazy, nasty nonsense. Because at the end of the day, what me and this woman definitely are, are victims of swatting, which is a federal crime. And every time we get closer and closer and closer to exposing, laughing my ass, girl, where did you go with the trucker? I told y'all she made it as far as Little Rock, so Arkansas, Little Rock. and then she came back. That's bullshit. Little Rock's only like five and a half, six right. hours away. I'm in Arkansas. She didn't come to Memphis Arkansas. is only like six, or seven hours from here. Nine hours Memphis away. is seven hours from here. Yeah. Little Rock is it's five and a half, six. I've done the drive a million times back and forth. What we're getting. So if you came to Little Rock, Arkansas, what was the truck stop? What was the name of the truck stop that you were at? Well, what was the street name? What area was it? I'm in Arkansas. Stop lying. Stop lying. And don't go go Google no truck stops in Little Rock to just name something or what have you. Okay? Because if she was telling the truth, she would have just said it in the first place. Okay? The, the girl didn't go nowhere. For the last past two days, this one's been a whole setup. Act like Jack, or TJ went nowhere around Jack, but she still was. Okay. This was another geeked up way for them to hustle what they what they wanted out of people. Okay. And the reason why this is, is so ridiculous because if Sean David Way had a gave in and actually sent this woman money or actually bought her, say, a bus ticket, train ticket, plane ticket, or whatever to go where she claimed she wanted to go, you would have like literally wasted his money. For what everybody already knew that you were still around jaguar you mean to tell me that you would have taken that trip and then turned around and came all the way back to jaguar if sean david way had to give you that money to go out there like you wanted to so like stop playing bro you plan on people's tops you call yourself playing with people's minds you playing with people's money you're playing with people's time they're lying period point blank getting closer to who was the mole but i wish jane doe would show up she's the mole okay she's the mole amongst everybody in our own damn camp okay no bullshit and my thing is this create real content and and people may like it and people will support it okay I ain't no hater by no long shot. I don't I don't particularly care for this person. Okay. 
I'm a naturally kind, loving, caring, sharing, giving type of person. Just because simply like I'm a water sign myself, but I'm a water sign Pisces. You understand what I'm saying? It it's like it's very few people who I can like because I'm an empath, because I'm naturally intuitive, highly intuitive. I can feel people's energy. There's very few people that I've come across where I don't know personally, but I, I can just literally tell. Like I just don't care for them. It's for a reason. Okay. It's for a reason. So, but like if this woman, what I'm seeing is if this woman was actually doing real content, you know, and being very creative for whatever talent, skill, or ability that you have, ain't nobody knocking you for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying if you talented, you skilled, it don't really much matter whether the person like you or not. Produce that. And, you know, there are billions of people in the world. So if somebody's going to like it, just like it's going to always be somebody who don't like it. But if you're producing real content, people will support that okay and my thing is since y'all always you know got scripted responses and running you know different little scripts of, and, and and different things and putting on the show or whatever you since you want to be dramatic since you all about the likes the cameras the actions if you want to do some improvs if you want to do acting um if you want to put together some skits and different things guess what it's other people who already do that some people do it and they're funny they're joking around. Some people do more, um, you know, uh, serious type of skits or whatever. But let people know that you put, you're doing skits, you're doing improvs and different things like that. And if it's good, guess what? People support you. You don't have to play pretend like every day is full of drama, it's full of trauma, it's full of craziness, it's full of danger, it's um, it's hostile, it's evil, it's wicked, you know, whatever. And, and play this role like these things are actually going on when you're like literally creating these scenes and then you want to bully people into submission to say oh I'm going through this so you need to you need to um, support me you understand what I'm saying if the content that you want to create is improvs and skits do that if you feel like you're good at doing that and that's what you want to do do that let your fan base know that's what you're doing that's what you're producing and if people like it, people are going to like, they're going to share, they're going to subscribe, they're going to support. You understand what I'm saying? You can't say that you are a, a soulful singer, a renowned singer, but you don't never sing. Not old stuff that was already recorded that you just press play on. Not somebody else's music that you just play in the background and let other people listen to. You actually sing it. And even when she do the Jerry uh, 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 Jagaroki shit, the karaoke shit, um, she's barely singing. It's more like wailing. Bits and pieces of the song, like she's really singing something, and she do it for a few minutes. Why? Because her voice, her vocal force is really shot. She always talking about her team this and her team that. If you really had a team. They be beating the pavement, calling nightclubs, finding out what local events you have, like carnivals and fairs and, um, you know, uh, different venues and different things where they're looking for live entertainment and you're getting paid. You know, the, in different places like that, especially if you're a local artist, they love having local artists. Because they're a lot easier to book than they are artists who say live in some other area. If you really had a team, they will be going to work doing that. You would have gigs booked up every week. Singing if you want to say. But if you want to do improvs and skits, whether it's funny, whether it's dramatic or whatever, let your audience know that that's what you're doing. Guess what? You got content creators right now th that do something simple as go out in public and interview people, ask them random little crazy questions or trivia questions or something like that and make fun of it or, or whatever. And they're very popular. You got people who go out and do pranks on people like uh, little funny pranks and they get really popular. They get a big following. They make a lot of money. You even have couples who have a couple channel and they prank each other or they just show their couple life and different things like that. They get a lot of followers. They get a lot of support. It don't matter what you want to do. Do what you want to do. But actually put forth effort. Actually create that content. Actually give the people something they can feel. 
actually give the people something that's worth supporting. You have to be providing a service. This is like somebody saying that I have a store and convincing everybody to come to their, their store, to their uh, boutique. But you go to the boutique and there's nothing in there. There's no clothes, no shoes, no jewelry, no perfumes, no colognes, no hats, no attire, no nothing in there. But this person is badgering people every day. Come to my store, come to my boutique, come to the boutique. But you get there and there's nothing. So you have, and she always mentioned, oh, I got this that, and the other many people watching me. They're watching. You know why? Because they're waiting on you to do something productive. They're waiting on you. Some people out here is literally yearning for you to do something creative, do something productive that, that, that will move them to support. It doesn't matter what a person is doing. Guess what? You have starving artists right now who work their ass off to the bone every single damn day until some, they're noticed by somebody, until they're recognized by somebody. And guess what? Every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, every time there's a big event, they go to their downtown areas and they post up. And some of them sing. Some of them do uh, mime, miming. Uh, some of them draw. Some of them paint. You write on the spot. And guess what? They're so talented. They're so creative. They're, they're, they're into their artistry. And people support. It don't matter if you can't sing a lick and you can play an instrument. I've seen people out on the street who don't do nothing but say play the saxophone or something. But play it so well, people come through and they drop money in their hat and different things. And they support. And so they get noticed. And so they get into, so they, you know, something bigger come along. You have to put forth that effort. That's just like me saying that I, I do personal readings for people. And you book a personal reading for me and you pay me. But I don't give you no personal reading. That is robbery. That is scamming. That is getting over. People are tired of hearing that you are in distress. Guess what? The entire world is in distress. Guess what? Inflation is up. Groceries are high. Gas is high. Cost of living is high. Everybody's got responsibility. People have children. All kinds of shit. You even have the, the, the average Joe homeless man or woman that's out on the street for real. With no family, no friends, nowhere to go. Not a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out. Or even they got enough sense to have some hustle about them. Those are them who's in their right mind. They got them some Windex and some paper towels. Every person come through the, the, the stop that they trying to wash your windows or something for you for a cup of some change, a couple of dollars, whatever you can give them. You got people out here that'll mow your yard, that'll rake your leaves, that'll shovel your snow, that'll pump your gas, that'll take out your trash or whatever to be assistance to somebody just to get a few dollars. But they're doing something. That's a real hustle. You can't get online and cuss people out every day, talk shit all day, every day, create false narratives, put out false information, badger people, belittle people, bully people, demean people, and call it fucking content and expect to get money from every damn body who's watching your ass. Yeah, that's not how that works. It's not how the hell that works. That's all I'm saying. A person like me could even manage Jaguar's career. Jaguar's problem is she thinks she's smarter than everybody else. Jaguar's problem is she thinks she's better than everybody else. When things didn't go right in the industry the way she wanted to, I get being upset about that. But that happened a long time ago and it's over and it's done. And guess what? You got to keep on living. You got to keep on pushing. You got to keep on striving to be the greatest version of yourself. And the only way to get people to change their mind about you, the people that talked about you, the people that ridiculed you, judged you, looked down upon you, thought you was washed up, thought it was over or whatever. Guess what? If you want to still sing, you could have, you could have, uh, uh, all this money you hustling, you should have went in and, and put together some sack lunches, 
some little uh uh little 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 activities or something for the little kids go and post up in the park and have that free for kids and their parents gonna come along with them and put on a free concert and let people donate but you're being productive oh the industry didn't want you get a part of a community crier you ain't got to go to church if you don't want to get a part of a community crier community choir sing, sing all type of music surely they give you some lead songs considering the fact you have a history with singing have your people to come in and record that put that up there people would love to see that people will flood in supporting you got to humble yourself you got to put forth real effort and real hustle You was good, good friends. It was supposed to be with Genesis at one point in time. She's still doing her thing, whether you like her or not. She's still linked up with other people that's doing their thing. They got a concert coming up right now in a few days. And if you had been still cool with her, you could have been on that set. You could have been getting paid to stay. But now you burnt that bridge. Even Shaka asked you. You refused. Just because you you at odds with Genesis. But you out here want money. You need money. You got to live. You got to survive. You ain't no telling how much money you could have got to do that show. Put your pride aside. That's what you do. Like I said, you want to do skits. You want to do improvs. Let your audience know that that's the type of content that you're going to put out. And guess what? People going to still watch you. And guess what? They like. They're going to push that like. They're going to share it. They're going to support. But you have to put forth real effort. See, this ain't about what I'm telling Jack Warren, what I'm talking about right now. This ain't about no like. Who gives a damn whether you like me? Who gives a damn whether I like you? It ain't about no like. It's about what you could be doing. What I'm telling you is beneficial for you. It ain't going to make me nothing. That's free game. You can't run around acting like you bigger and better than everybody. You smarter than everybody. You all this, you all that. Always stay gracious. Best revenge is your paper. If you really care about that paper like that, you be out here really hustling, really on the grind. And I ain't talking about scamming. And I ain't talking about lying. And I ain't talking about getting over. Blindsiding people. Trying to trick people. Being with the fuckery. You would out here be out here putting forth real effort, real work. It wouldn't matter who was talking about you. It wouldn't matter who disliked you. It wouldn't matter. You know how many people have gone to AGT, America's Got Talent? And people, first impressions looked at them and thought they was too fat, thought they were too ugly. And they came out there with amazing talent. You remember the man, the homeless man that was on the street? I think not only was he homeless, he may have been an alcoholic or addict or something too. They called him the golden voice uh, singer or something. That man, Cause saying like it wasn't nobody's business without even trying. Somebody cleaned them up, got them some help, got them seen, got them noticed. It don't matter what you're doing. But you'll be putting forth the effort. You're giving people real content. I wouldn't give a damn if you called yourself a magician. If you called yourself a Houdini the third. And you went out here with some card tricks or some amazing stunts. You know how many people, you know how many people like skating or skateboarding or riding bikes and they go do these high jumps off of steps and off damn poles and all kind of crazy shit. This is what they love. But guess what? They get a whole lot of followers. Seem like some simple. They took a hobby, something that they like doing. Some simple, like skating or something. And recorded themselves doing it. And people, other people who like that type of content, guess what? They watch them. They ain't got the badge of people to support or none of that because they just do it on their own. Who can do that? 
That's the point. Because she had so many um, ideas last night about who the mole was. I, I'm surprised she's not here. I receive all positive energy. She can handle all the negative stuff. I bow out. I'm done, y'all. Y'all can I'm done. Like, at the end of the day, the only reason the TJ storyline, the Naisha storyline even became relevant is because it was attached to me. And that's just a fact. It's just a fact. If y'all didn't get a chance to put Jaguar Wright's name in front of it, none of this would have went anywhere. If Aisha was going to be a big YouTube star, why didn't she go to her cousin Nick at night to help her? Nick been on YouTube a long time. And that's just something else that amazes me. I don't understand how you can talk so bad about either TJ or even Naisha. TJ is on your is, is it had it, it signs your bond. Naisha is listed as a fucking reference. You've even had beef with Shuns every way and King Payne at one point in time. Y'all was buddy buddy cool cool, but these is the very people who came together to help you get out of jail. Otherwise, you would be still in there because you didn't have a dime to your damn name to do with your damn thing. Some of the very people that you talk about that you're going against right now is the people, the very people who came together to help you. And you've been out here acting the fool. You think you'll be sitting down somewhere just chilling out or something? Considering the fact you got court coming up or whatever, but you've been out here doing the most, saying the most. You're the hostess with the most. drama every single damn day and you got other shit going on when you should be focused when you should be showing that you can be stable Nick is also friends with Michael Braggs and Adrian Deontay Lewis now all of a sudden Jesus is doing videos saying Naisha was in on the scam the whole time. You're absolutely right. She was. Yeah, right along with your ass and TJ. And everybody else. It's well, who is the mole? You. We're narrowing it down. And on part two of who is the mole, I think we might have enough information mm -hmm. to uncover it. But I really would love if Jane Doe would come back. And share some of her ideas with us. I didn't know she quit. I don't know why she quit. And Kimmy and Tulsa. Kimmy and Tulsa's fine. Mm -hmm. They said what they had to say and they was fine. And all of a sudden, you want a chicken sandwich with <laughs> Amen to the chicken sandwich. Thank you. Um, I get my skin from my mom. My mom has beautiful skin. Always has. So do my aunts on my dad's side. Just beautiful. Um. All that native blood. She is so uh, fake. <laughs> With her little fake accent. The Why? CBD? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <coughs> uh, oh. Both of them. I can't. I can't. Like, Oh, the sea moss is great. I actually make sea moss gel. Um, I'm really looking forward to being able to get back to making my products and selling my products. Um, I hate the fact that my mom doesn't have any more of my products because they work so great for her. Um, you talking about native toilet. I'm part Cherokee and I'm part Blackfeet. Bye. Here we go. Remove. Black and let's, let's get you. There you go. She said yeah, black feet. She just lying. Eighty six, eighty six thousand seconds. <laughs> what you got? I need to make the sad. But once again, it was my husband that ran off with all of the money that I needed to buy the products, make the products, do all of that. 
I have been sabotaged in my business efforts on so many different levels this year. It She's doesn't make lying. any sense. And yet I don't hear anyone say, hey, Jag is being sabotaged. No, it's just I'm a scammer. You are. By a bunch of scam artists. That would be you. Now, for everybody that said that TJ needed to cam up so you could donate because you actually want to help, here she is. Ain't nobody All donating right. to y'all. While y'all stunting and fronting, playing for the cash like app should reflect that. Matter of fact, let me check it right now while we're sitting there. This don't look nothing to me like a dollar review. Because if I was getting a dollar review, there's 855 people in this room. Where's the money? Are you not entertained? Where's the bread? Because this ain't a scam. Yes. So where's the bread? This is work. So where's the bread? Where's my money, Dunny? Sweet. They don't believe it. They don't believe what? About the cash app. They don't believe what about the cash app? Uh, that it was in the negative. Cash app cannot go into the Oh, uh, yeah, it was. It was. I got the but Miss Thelma Jay came Jay Golino Thelma. Oh, oh that's Jobs for Nine Hey Jobs Miss Thelma came through How are you Jobs yeah. How are you Jobs you need Yeah she right here Oh wow Yeah she right here You, you kind of ballsy tonight Ain't you Jobs How about that 24 hours And you sit there In your sunken place so, honey, this is what oh, they wow. did for the rest of this video. Um, basically, hustle people for money. Right. You want to show? Bye, Jobs. Go ahead, show them. If y'all can see that, and say negative. It was negative 50, what was that? 5676. But Miss Thalma came through on a clutch and she paid it, just like she said. So, I appreciate you, Miss Thalma. And the one who sent the 1116 and the one who sent the $10. So that's how I was able to get out today. Why does it look like? And since you think it's so funny, Tisha, how about you go laugh somewhere else for twenty four hours? Why does it look like TJ's face is swollen? Like real rad. Everybody that said that they believe in what we do, everybody that said that they love the music, I've been playing the music, sharing the music, and I, I, I'm not seeing the fan funding that I'm asking for. You're not singing. You're just playing music. Yeah, I'm not interested in borrowing anything. I'm interested in raising money. And I should be able to do that legitimately without it being called a scam. It is a scam when y'all make yeah. stories and false Yes, job does need a life other than running around harassing black women because she was just trying to harass Naisha Davenport the other day on the income and out going in the second that she asked Naisha a real question. Naisha dropped down and didn't come back. I wonder why. Got a job, bums. Okay. I got a job too. <clears throat> right. <laughs> I got a job too. It's called, it's called getting rid of you. That's my job right now. We'll start right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll do this. We'll report you for something. Um, there we go. Appropriate. Y'all um, have, if you haven't noticed, TJ's face is swollen. Her face did not look like that yesterday. I, you know don't know what they were doing last night but obviously something her her jaw if you look at her face is swollen especially in the cheek areas they're both coughing and shit like um something is not right at all with them 
something is really not right but yeah this video is about to end the rest of this video is just them um going off on people in the comments section as well as um you know bullying people for money or what have you y'all be sure to go um to um jaguar right johnson's um channel and watch this video okay um she's got a lot of different stuff in the title but it starts off with saving tj uh it's like hashtag saving tj hashtag a bunch of other crap um or what have you but yeah she's not saving nobody jaguar don't care about anybody but herself and um that's plain to see okay guys so um yeah y'all make sure y'all go and um view this video here yeah it's jaguar um or excuse me yes yeah, jaguar wise jensen's chance channel um it's hashtag saving tj hashtag what happens hashtag does jag give a fuck um question marks hashtag wcw um and then it says in action here okay they definitely in action because yeah they starting they front end they getting over and it is a scam just period point blank it is a scam okay but that's what's going on here guys I don't know where Jane Doe is. Oh no, it was flagged. And then it was in the negative. And then TJ had to sit there and fight and fight and fight and fight and fight. And then finally somebody sent a donation. But you know what though? We still gotta figure out where we're living these next couple of days, especially right before court. We still have a lot of things to figure out. And while we're sitting here creating this content and you're showing up every day, y'all motherfuckers are sitting here accepting all of the fun and all of the, the this and all of the that. Yeah, I got 900 people in the room and it's less than 200 likes. Why? Or is it just that y'all can't handle Jag is better than y'all? All of you on this red app and you'll do anything, even if it means coming together to work to try to stop me from earning a dollar on this red app. That is ridiculous. Welcome to the YT Hunger Games. I know what I'm fighting for. What are y'all fighting for? You're all a bunch of weirdos. And you're mad that I came here to this app to dominate and to take back every ounce of content to dominate right which all use for free and have made good money on that's the reason why J uh tj looks like she um i guess that's the reason why tj looks like she didn't been beat up or something like that you know her jaws look all swollen i don't you know someone's jammed in her mouth jammed in her jaws all night long she was beat up or or something her face is swollen she did not look like that yesterday when she was going live but today y'all are both coughing um you know it's it's really weird it's really weird something else is going on but um yeah what was the what's the reason if, if tj actually left what was the real reason she came went back to jaguar after making it seem like she so desperately had to get out of texas she was leaving um it was over between her and jag did, did she get attacked that that um uh, you know like what went on last night what, what really happened last night It's a question. I want one dollar for every view. Because what I am going to do is until I get a dollar of view, I'm going to terrorize 
every heckler and every hater and I'ma make y'all content and I'ma get paid off of you. How about that? I don't care what job, Scott. If I had stage four cancer and Job 4-9 was chemo, I'd rather die. She say some of the ignorant as things. It doesn't make any sense. Like, seriously. I'm going to get you jobs and your little, jo- your little dog, too. So evil. And so Deanna evil. Moser. So nasty, but you want people money. We should talk. Is that what you call content? Don't just disappear, Deanna Moser. We should talk. You know? We should have a conversation, Deanna Moser. She's so extra. She loved calling people out by their whole name and shit. Like, like I'll be out west soon. You're in Vegas, right? We should have lunch, Deanna Moser. Why does she keep saying her name or whoever that person is? Like, it's ridiculous. Because everyone said she was lying about the cash app being in the negative. Thank you, Manny. Okay, guys. So, yeah, she's going to go on and on about this. Nice block, sweet. For just a little while longer. Um, so y'all go block out tackle view the rest of this video. So interesting. Okay, guys, so yeah, that's that. Um, y'all go, can go and watch the rest of that. I just wanted to see how, I uh, wanted you all to see how, the, you know, they're still playing on people's stocks um, and scamming people out of money to get what they want is what's going on here, guys, okay? But um, anywho, honey, I thank you all for listening and for watching. If you'll be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it will be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. Please like, share, and subscribe, guys. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word. And for any person who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond 36, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamond, or through Zelle, which is tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. As always, guys, y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.